Attorney General's office launches an investigation into a former Metairie clinic that some local men say promised results for a problem they long kept hidden. Tonight, the men explain how they're out thousands of dollars as we uncover why this may be more than just a Louisiana problem. Here's our latest Fox 8 Defenders investigation. Guys, are you struggling with ED and sick of the pills? Well, we now have a major medical breakthrough. Yeah. Our our technology. Technology. Across New Orleans airwaves, commercials like these targeted men struggling with erectile dysfunction. Our technology is clinically shown to repair and open up blood vessels. Significant clinical data now exists. Over 60 studies have been performed, including from Cambridge. The commercials touted a medical clinic in Metairie. Springview bought commercial time on Fox 8. Guys, it's time to get your love life back. When you saw the ad on TV, did you think this could be the solution to the problem I've been having? Well, yes. Really it gave you did. hope. I really did. Yeah, it gave me hope. But these two men who reached out to the Fox 8 defenders and don't want to be identified say they now believe the clinic was nothing but a waste of time and money. One other person we also spoke to agrees. As I was going through the treatment, I found that it really wasn't doing anything. I kept telling them after the, the, about the fifth treatment that I wasn't feeling anything. These men and two others filed complaints with the Louisiana Attorney General's office about Springview Medical Clinic. We have received several complaints um, that they have taken money and basically ran. The complaints prompted the Consumer Protection Division of the AG's office to launch an investigation. What you've seen so far, does it concern you? Certainly. Anytime you get uh, a myriad of complaints from consumers that are alleging the same thing and then the company appears to be gone and they're not receiving treatments or they're not receiving what they paid for. That's certainly one of the, the red flags that goes off. Mike Dupree, the head of the Public Protection Division of the AG's office, says anytime the office opens an investigation into a company, it reaches out to that company to try to offer mediation with the consumer. But in this case... Has your office received any sort of response from Springview Medical Clinic? Not at this time, no. That might be because in June, Springview Medical Clinic closed. Yet the men we've spoken to still receive bills for treatment they say they're not receiving. In fact, one of the men even applied for a loan to help pay for the $4,600 cost of the treatment. The Better Business Bureau of Southeast Louisiana is also investigating. Springview Medical Clinic has an F rating on the BBB website. And the consumers uh, said it was a very negative experience. But this isn't the only part of the country where the Better Business Bureau is looking into a clinic like this. From what we understand from some of the complaints that may be going on in other states as well. In St. Louis, Missouri, the BBB there gave Pineview Medical Clinic an F rating. Pineview offered the exact same treatment that Springview and Metairie did. Acoustic pressure wave treatment to treat erectile dysfunction. And its commercials even featured the same spokespeople that represented Springview. You go to PineviewMedicalClinic.com. Like Springview, Pineview now appears to be closed. As you look into it, you discover, well, it may be going on in other states as well. The website shut down. You know, those are the kind of things that we go, wait a minute, something doesn't seem above board here. Let's take a closer look. We wanted to know if there were more clinics like this across the country and more unhappy customers. Remember the commercials that aired across New Orleans airwaves? In order to air those commercials, the Springview representative sent an email last October with a link. Clicking on the link pulls up a list of 42 different medical clinics. When you click on each individual medical clinic, you find the exact same commercial. The clinics are located in cities across the country, from Seattle to Tampa to Riverside, Rhode Island. Our technology is clinically shown to repair and open up blood vessels. The only difference, the banner across the bottom of the screen with the name of a different city and different phone number for viewers to call. We showed our findings to Mike Dupree. It's certainly something provides us an avenue to ask more questions and find out exactly what's going on, certainly. We also found by digging into public records of the various clinics that many have the same main mailing address. It's an address in Utah for an attorney's office. So Springview and Metairie, Pineview Medical Clinic in Crevcore, Missouri, which is just outside St. Louis, Coastside Medical Clinic in Sacramento, the Valley View Medical Clinic in Pleasant Hill, Iowa, and Pine Grove Medical Clinic in Greenwood, Indiana, just to name a few, 
all have the same home address on official state documents in Cedar City, Utah. Many of the clinics also have the same people named on those official documents as company officers or managers. Mike Dupree says investigators will take all of this information into account as they determine how to proceed. The goal, he explains, is to make whole the Louisiana residents who believe they've fallen victim to a scam. Now we've received four complaints, we've noticed a pattern, and so now we can go in on the behalf of the state and say, hey, company A, are you engaged in unfair and deceptive trade practices? If so, we can file a civil lawsuit against them and try to get penalties and restitution for those individuals who may have been scammed. Dupree warns it can be a long process. In the meantime, the two men we interviewed wonder what they should do as they face thousands of dollars in bills for treatment they say never worked and they no longer receive. Nobody likes to be scammed. At all. I know I don't. We reached out to the attorney's office in Utah, the one whose address is listed as the home address for many of the clinics. We asked to speak with the owners of the clinics but never received a response. The Louisiana AG's office says its investigation could take some time, but individuals like the men we interviewed could always file their own lawsuits against the clinic to try to collect damages. If you've got a consumer complaint you'd like us to look into, call the Fox 8 Defenders, staffed with volunteers from the National Council of Jewish Women, or fill out our online complaint form.